But yes, I have in my book, it's a chapter called Mm Whack-A-Mole. It's like one addiction goes down and then another one pops up. Yeah. But do you, I mean, do you think that's healthy? I mean, I think there's healthy whack-a-moles or do you, are there healthy whack-a-moles that you can get quote addicted to that maybe is, is, is mindless, but it's still, it's harmless. I mean, you can't get pulled over for drinking while eating cake. I mean, you could if you were not watching the road, but you know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to measure the sugar in your system. So I was like, I can eat, I can still eat candy. I still have that. But like for me, it gets to a point where I'm like really eating it addictively and it's affecting my life and it's affecting my happiness. And when that happens, I have to reassess and I have to go, would my life work better if sugar was just on the off list and I just can't have it? Yeah, but that's what brought balance to your life is just co- totally cutting it out. You know, where somebody, where somebody might be, okay, I can just have a glass of wine, you know, three nights a week. That won't work for somebody like you. And and you have to have like that sort of self-awareness to understand if you want to have, if wine is that important to you, if or sugar is that important to you, 